Welcome back to another episode of Budget Rebuilds. Today we're jumping back on our burnt electric glide. We had to take a break from the soft tail because um, I ordered controls for it, but realized halfway through that that bike has security, so I had to order a security delete module like we did on my bike um, a few episodes ago. Anyway, we'll go back through it when we get to that bike. So for this bike, um, I put jumper cables on it and some of the lights came on. I can't really tell what does and doesn't work. So we just ordered a uh, right side switch so we can try to see if it runs because obviously these are all melted so it, they, don't, <laughs> they don't do anything at all. But um, I've popped a new battery in it and I've unplugged the radio because it's obviously melted and I didn't want it to short anything else out. So I'm just going to try to see if it'll run. I don't have a whole lot of hope for it, but we'll, we'll see. Fuel pump works. Makes weird noises. We in neutral. Awesome. All right, I guess we can go ahead and start tearing all the stuff off of it and uh, throw away what we're not going to use. And And we'll save our rubber bushings for our new bars. They're actually still good. <clears throat> Thank you. 
and take this thing off. Take all that stuff off too. All right, so the plan on this one, rather than try to buy new fender strut covers and license plate stuff and tail lights and all the other stuff, is just to do like I always do, put the stretch fender on the back with my plasma rod tail lights and stretch bags. That way then all that stuff's painted and I don't have to buy a bunch of little stuff from Harley. Um, the tank, I've been searching high and low for a tank and uh, not having much luck uh, for an O2. O2's specific to that year for some reason. And uh, I think what I'm gonna do is just buy the, um, the covers, the fiberglass covers go down the side of it. That way they don't have to buy a tank and it's only like a hundred bucks. And I have an inner fairing for this. I've ordered gauges for it. And I have an outer fairing for this too. So just waiting on that stuff to show up so I can start putting together the front of the bike. All right, so I know the engine looks like crap. Y'all are wondering like what the heck we're gonna do to get that looking decent. Um, I read on the internet, vinegar and fine steel wool, um, like supposed to bring back all the oxidate or bring, get off the oxidation and bring it back. So I tried a little bit right here in a bad spot and it came real well. So I'm just gonna work on this a little bit, put a little bit of elbow grease in it. I'm not gonna worry about the mufflers so much because I bought new ones. We're gonna do the uh, aftermarket ones on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get strut covers off, the license plate bracket, and our tail light off. Um, can't really get to the screws on here, so I didn't make it much better.
So I need to get these throttle cables out of the interfering so I can keep on getting it pulled apart. And I'm pretty sure they're toast. I mean, it, I think they just got pretty hot. So I'm just gonna snip them, get them out of our way. I think I have some factory replacement ones laying around anyway. Oh my God, hit me right in the head. God. All right, we'll go ahead and get this radio pulled out of here and finish getting the rest of the fairing off of it. Dude, what's left of it? God. I'm gonna go ahead and get the front wheel off so that we can get the fork legs out so we can put on our new cans and figure out what we're gonna do with the forks. I, I think I can sit them down and paint them right now. That's the plan at least. And then we'll see if we can clean up these bars if they're still salvageable and replace our, uh, whoa, the zip tie was done. <laughs> and replace our switches and stuff too. And I gotta pull up one caliper to get the uh, wheel out. Well, I'll have to end up pulling off both of them, I guess, anyway. Put our spacers on the same way they came off so we don't get them mixed up. We got our fender taken loose. I'm, I, I think I'm being optimistic, but I'm pretty sure we can save it. Worst case scenario, I just buy a new one off of eBay, the street glad kind, but um, yeah, it's not that beat up. I'll go ahead and get my fender tip light unplugged. We've gone ahead and removed our ignition switch so I can get off this uh, inner dash piece right here and I'll go ahead and pull the bars loose along with our switches up here. I'm going to go ahead and zip off this master cylinder real quick. All right, now we can go ahead and get these four caps off and drop out our four tubes. So now we can go ahead and zip off our torque cans here real quick. All 
Now that we've got the front end tore apart, I want to go ahead and get the exhaust off and then get the tank off. That way then I can start cleaning up on the engine and I tried to save these <coughs> rockers and stuff and they're, they're just too far gone. So we'll clean them up and do them wrinkle black um, so we don't have to go buy all new rockers and stuff. And that'll give us a chance to put all new rocker cover gaskets and the cam chest cover gasket on it. And that way then we can check out the tensioners also and make sure they're not wore out also. So uh, let's go ahead and start getting the heat shields off the exhaust first so we can get it off. So we worked a little bit later on the bike last night, finally got the exhaust broke loose enough to get our transmission cover off so we could get our clutch cable out and got our cam chest cover off. And that's when I found they've done the uh, Screaming Eagle uh, cam tensioner upgrade cam plate kit thingamabobber or whatever. So somebody's just spent some money on it so the new owner won't have to worry about replacing the uh, time and chain tensioners ever again. Um, so we're at a good stopping point right now. When we come back, I'll have the fork tubes painted and I'll have the new fork cans on and I'll have, um, well, I'll put all that on, but I'll have it done already. And we'll go ahead and pull off all the, uh, rocker box covers and have them painted, ready to all bolt back together and start going back together with a complete bike. So anyway, catch us back on the next episode. Um, when we start trying to get this thing back together, uh, we appreciate you watching our videos. Please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Thank you very much.